Hey guys, I'm back with a new PvP tips video, and this time I want to talk about judging someone's skill in PvP based solely on what cosmetics they have equipped. This can seem a bit jokey, but it's actually a really good skill you can learn and can help you know what to expect when going into a fight. I'm also going to show you some clips of actual fights I had and go over what cosmetics those crews had equipped. If you want to skip ahead to that, feel free. Quick disclaimer, I am not hating on anyone's fashion choices. Wear whatever you want. I am just showing the correlations I've found between what cosmetics you're wearing and how good you are in PvP. So here's the default ship, and you might think this is a for sure sign that somebody's new at the game, and it's actually the opposite. Most new players will equip some kind of cosmetic, while veterans who are jumping server to server looking for PvP sometimes don't bother equipping cosmetics because it either takes too long or they purposely want to look new. So if you see a completely default ship out on the seas, you might want to be careful. You should keep an eye out for these sails in particular because they are used by a ton of new players. Also, the parrot sails. For some reason, a lot of new players like these, so it's a pretty good indicator that they're new at the game. So in my case, the sails I use are the founder sails from Alpha, and they're pretty rare to see these days, so if you end up spotting these, then there's a good chance that boat knows what they're doing. The Reaper Emissary Sales. So to acquire these, you actually have to get a high enough rank in the Reaper Emissary Ledger for that month. And while there's definitely a lot of people who fly Reapers that do mostly just PvE, in my experience, I've found that more often than not, people that use this sale are probably looking for a fight, so be cautious. So let's go ahead and cover the Arena sets. The Red Glorious Sea Dog set is not too difficult to acquire, but it can at least tell you that the person you're about to fight has at least some interest in PvP while the blue Triumphant Sea Dog set is much more difficult to acquire, and if you spot that one, you want to be ready for a tough fight. So the Athena's Fortune set is a bit harder to gauge because it's used by all kinds of players, people that do PvE and people that do PvP. My advice is to just go into the fight with caution because you at least know that they've been playing long enough to reach Pirate Legend. Now it's time for the Insider ship set. So to acquire this set, you have to have played Sea of Thieves Insiders one hour a week for 37 weeks. I've only come across this set a couple times, but when I have, it has been a really tough fight. So if you see these, you need to be very careful. So obviously I can't cover every sale that's in the game, so my advice is maybe go to the shipwright and see what sales are available for everyone. Because when you come across one that you don't recognize, whether it's exclusive or was time limited, chances are the person using those is probably trying to show off, and that means that they probably can back it up with a good fight. On that note, it's probably worth stopping by the Pirate Emporium. Try and memorize what sales you can buy with real money. Just because someone has a premium sale does not mean they are good at the game. A lot of new players will actually buy sales with real money to avoid looking like a new player. So if you come across any, I'd say it's about a 50-50 chance that they're good at PvP. Also, a quick side note before we get to player outfits. If you see someone flying the Jolly Roger flag, it is almost certainly a new player. Because when you start a pirate game, what's the first thing you do? You put up the pirate flag. Okay, so on to player cosmetics. Unlike the default ship, the default sailor cosmetics are a really good indicator that someone is brand new to the game. Additionally, just like the sea dog sails, the sea dog outfit is a pretty good indicator that the person is pretty new and probably isn't very good at PvP. Moving on, so when a new player finally gets some money in the game, for whatever reason, they almost always gravitate towards the Kraken outfit or the Crab outfit, referred to as Kraken Lords or Crab Lords, respectively. This is usually a really good indicator that the person just made some money, but they're still relatively new at the game. I've said it before, but when a new player gets some money, besides the Kraken and the Crab, they almost always get the Reaper PJs, so these are a really good sign that that person probably isn't great at PvP. Now it's time for the Tuck outfit. Most of you probably know this one. People that wear this generally watch a lot of streamers or YouTubers that wear it because it makes you slightly harder to see when hiding on an enemy ship. Now I have run into a lot of really good players that wear this, but I feel like I've run into more not so great players that are just trying to emulate streamers or YouTubers. So if you see this, just be cautious. Up next is the dreaded Pirate Legend outfit. If you see this out in the game, you better turn around and run away. I'm just kidding. People that wear this are generally very bad at the game because they want nothing more than to show off that they're Pirate Legend, which isn't that big of a deal these days. So if you see this, I really don't think you have a lot to worry about. The same thing goes for the Athena Ghost outfit. This is much more difficult to acquire than the Pirate Legend set, but the people who wear this whole thing top to bottom 
probably aren't very good at the game, and again, they just really want to show off. Same goes for the Athena costume cosmetic. Now, who I'd really look out for are the unassuming pirates who have one or two hard to get cosmetics equipped. For instance, the Gold Curse, which is a huge grind to get, at least before they introduce checkpoints. Most of the people I fight that have the Gold Curse equipped are pretty damn good at PvP, so watch out. So getting back to the arena cosmetics, the red Glorious Sea Dog outfit is somewhat difficult to acquire and can give you a good idea that someone is pretty experienced in PvP. And the blue Triumphant Sea Dog set, while not as difficult to acquire as its ship counterpart, can be a really good indicator that the person is probably going to put up a very good fight. So now I want to transition into some clips of me actually approaching other ships, judging their skill based solely on their cosmetics, then going fight them to see how that assessment holds up. So one of the first things I look for when approaching a ship is whether or not it has a figurehead. I find if they don't, that means that they typically are pretty new, they probably can't afford one. And right here we have a boat that doesn't have a figurehead and it's flying the Ashen Sails. I see a lot of new players using the Ashen set these days. And climbing up, I see the Crab set and the Sea Dog set. So yeah, just as I suspected, these guys aren't too great. Up next, we have a brig and they have a reaper flag. They also have a reaper figurehead, but if you notice, they have the ashen hull and most importantly, they are anchored with their sails down. So I'm not anticipating a very good fight. Now I'm waiting on deck for the crew to show up. And when you know it, the guy has on all of the ashen cosmetics. However, he's not actually that bad. He's playing very aggressively. He's trying different strats, but unfortunately his moves are pretty predictable. So here's a sloop with the Order of Souls Emissary Sails, which take a bit to get. You have to get top of the ledger for that month. So I'm going to approach a little cautiously, and it turns out that they are actually pretty good on cannons. They continuously keep hitting my ship, causing me some trouble. So eventually I was able to take them down, and as you can see, they try and escape in a rowboat, which doesn't work out too well. And when I go over, I find someone with a lot of the Ashen Cosmetics actually mixed in with the Pirate Legend gear. And when you know it, he's a bit too slow on the draw. So if you can't tell, here we have a brig that has premium cosmetics. They have the Soul Flame set, meaning they went into the Pirate Emporium and paid real money for these. And like I said earlier, you can't really tell. So this is kind of a 50-50. You should be pretty cautious going into these kind of fights. And they crash into the island. I think I'll be okay. Climbing up, we have our favorite duo, the Reaper costume and the Kraken outfit. These guys were pretty easy to take down and didn't cause me too much trouble. Oh, and there's the crab outfit. Okay, we've got the trifecta, here we go. This guy actually ended up being pretty good. His quick scopes were on point and he moved very well. So up next we have a default sloop and their only cosmetic is the white flag. This is super suspicious and surprise, they actually were very good, but eventually I was able to take them down when they were trying to turn in. So lastly, my sloop actually sank. However, I was able to grab the ladder of a passing brig. They had on the Order of Souls Emissary Sails and some Pirate Legend cosmetics. Also, they were on an Athena quest. So I wanted to be very cautious with this crew. However, once they got to their destination, they not only anchored their ship, but left it unguarded, allowing me to sink it. And here I'm expecting them to have a back spawn. So I just brought a keg over to surprise them. And after the third one spawns in, I finish them off. And wouldn't you know it, we've got the full lineup here. Two in their full Pirate Legend outfits and the Athena ghost costume. So one quick thing before I go is that I've started reviewing people's fashion live on stream, giving you a number from zero to 10. It's all just for fun, but if you wanna participate, you can join the Discord beneath the video and come check out the stream. I stream every weekday afternoon and most weekends at twitch.tv slash blurbs. If you have any other questions or you just wanna come hang out and say hey, please feel free to stop by. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.